This year, my goal was to read 50 books, as in 5-0. Um, I read 17, <laughs> which is good for me, but um, I'll try harder next year. Of those 17 books, these five rocked my world. And today we're going to talk about it. So with that being said, let's get this video rolling. We're starting off strong because in the year 2023, I discovered my favorite author and my favorite book of all time. Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid like blew my mind. I felt like I was in their world and actually in an episode of The Bachelor, but like that's a whole different tangent. Um, a million out of 10 stars for me and the TV show lived up to my expectations as well. So while I've always loved romance books, I didn't give fantasy a try until this year and thank goodness I did because the Akatar series like changed my whole idea of what a book looks like honestly and this had to be my favorite book from the series. Like, honestly there were parts of the series where I couldn't get into it. I thought all hope was lost and then I just kept reading, kept reading and thank goodness because the friendship in this book, the romance, the um The perseverance of the characters, like I love, loved the character growth. One of my favorite quotes is you were assigned this mountain to show others it can be moved and like, I think that would explain a huge reason why this is one of my favorite books of all time. We are just genre hopping because let's talk about The Shift by Tinks. If you're unfamiliar, Tinks is a TikToker and she posts a lot of videos about like self-help, not self-help dating advice and like navigating your 20s and 30s so this book i wish i had in my hands as like a high schooler or college student because i used to beg everyone around me for dating advice and be like i think i like this guy but like do you think we're compatible and blah, 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 and does he like me like girl just read the shift just read the shift it'll answer all your questions like i loved this back to my roots which are romance books i started reading reading better than the movies and I realized it was like a high school YA kind of romance and I was like crap as a 24 year old girl how into this can I get it was the pictures that Lynn Painter <laughs> no pun intended the pictures that she painted in my head were like so cute so romantic this is not a spoiler but like the protagonists were at a bonfire at one point and I'm just like I want to go there I've always been a romantic and high school me would have been ecstatic to live a love story like Wes and Liz. So 10 out of 10. Obviously Fourth Wing was one of the top books of the year in general, but honestly like I loved this book because I think something that makes or breaks a book for me is whether or not I love the characters and not just the protagonists, but like the other guys, you know, Rhiannon? Violet's friend completely like had me hooked like I wanted to learn more about her because she just seemed like such a good friend so I know some people hear the words dragon magic school and they're like eh but you just gotta give it a try you know you just gotta keep reading sometimes and then you'll get it there's new words there's new phrases that sometimes you're like this is a lot of new information at once so why am i reading this but once you get to the end of these fantasy books it is worth it just try one try one of either the akatar series and this and just thank me later that's all i got for now but y'all i want to make another video about all the books i'm excited to read in the year 2024 that sounds weird um I, whatever this sounds weird <laughs> Um, my TBR list is very long and there's some that I just am ecstatic to get to. So if you would like to see a video about that, please let me know. Um, thank you so much for watching. I make videos a lot of different places. So if you want to go check them out, you know, here's all my handles, but thank you. And I'll see you next time. Happy 2024. Bye.